Hello everyone, Dino Don here again with another update on my War Corsair project. <coughs> Excuse me, my last video I had the uh, foam all sanded and shaped. This is the actual foam for the cowling. I went around and sanded out the little bit of uh, the sanding marks in it. And then I went ahead and glued on the nose cone pieces for the radius of the front. Okay, now I just finished finished making this stick sanding stick here. That's the shape of the nose cone. And with this on there, I'll be able to take this sanding stick and work it around and use the nut there to adjust for down. And I should be able to sand that to a nice round radius condition. Today it's only like 40 some degrees outside. Raining. <laughs> Too cold. But anyway, inside here with the torpedo heater going, I'm currently about 68 degrees. So, I'm going to go ahead and start sanding on this. And as I get along, I'll, uh, I'll add to this video and upload it when I can. Uh, today's uh, October 29th, Sunday. Okay, I'll be back. Bye. All right, it's been about a, an hour of uh, fiddling around, sanding, and this is where I'm at right now. Got it uh, pretty much sanded in, and as I get it worked down farther and farther, it'll eventually get down in here to the sides and then finish it up. But uh, to start it, I went ahead and hacksawed off a bunch of the uh, corners with a little coping saw to uh, take out some of the sand. When I first started running the sanding stick around there, it didn't, didn't want to work so well with those square corners. So I just knocked off the high corners. Essentially these corners right here I chopped off and this one down here. So that's kind of where I'm at now. You can see there's little waves here and there, but as I get, uh, get her sanded down to final shape, that'll all disappear. So that's where I'm at after about an hour. All right, I'll uh, keep at it and follow up with this. Okay, it's been about another half hour of sanding and I now have it to its basic shape. I'll fry a few little low spots here and there, but uh, what I'm going to end up doing is putting it back in my jig. Uh, I'll have to expand it. This this will have to be moved out about five more inches to get that in. But I'll put it in the jig and uh, spin it and probably finish hand sanding this to shape. May have to use the sander, the roll sander on it a little bit just to clean up this edge. Take a slight bit off of here is all. But that's where I'm at. So it looks pretty good. I mean, almost two hours worth of sanding. There's a real light spot there, but that uh, looks pretty good. Uh, this inside is actually un um, oversized. It'll s still need to be, when I get it in a jig, I'll probably work on cleaning up this opening. Because uh, when this thing is fiberglass, after it's all said and done, all this foam here is literally removed from the cowling. This front cowling, you get two layers of glass on the outside of the whole thing, two layers on the inside, but on this nose cone, it takes a total of four layers. Uh, yeah, four layers of cloth, I believe, on the inside instead of two. But uh, essentially, and then there'll be a piece of music wire, piano wire, a 16th inch all the way around the inside of this to stiffen it up. The fabric will literally just come in and roll in underneath. But uh, for the outside, it'll come up, be cut out, put the wire in, and then take all this foam out on the inside and then glass it like four layers inside. So that's what I've got today. I think I'm going to call it a day. It's enough sanding for one. I think I don't want to stay in focus for you. But okay, well, I hope you enjoyed watching the updates. Um, I may or may not get around to another one. It's all going to depend on how bad the weather gets. So, all right, well, thanks for watching, and uh, keep up, I'll keep you updated as I can. Bye.